So the Hobie is coming out of the water now. Um, we're gonna do some projects on it and then take it to the Keys to do some more testing for overnight trips. One thing we wanna do, since we're not using a jib um, and we have all this gear, like sleeping bags and stuff, I'm gonna build a little hammock net to store all our, our, you know, our coolers and uh, dry bags full of uh, you know, sleeping bags and tarps and stuff like that. So then we can have the trapeze more free to, to tack back and forth. And maybe it plays a, made it make a place to like mount a paddle up here. Um, because this area uh, would just be like, keep it all out of the way. I think that'd be a good place to put it. I also got some bungee cords for the for the trapeze lines. So we can keep those taut. And uh, I'm gonna put some carabiners on there so we can like lock them into our harnesses uh, so they don't fall off as easy. Oh, Kobe. <laughs> All right, we're all tied up, ready for our 200 mile trip down to the Keys. So we trailered the boat from Fort Myers down to uh, Isla Morada over here. And that's where we'll put the boat in the water and we'll just sail as far west as we can go. Maybe go all the way to Key West. A huge thanks to my new friend Tyler and his family for hosting us in Isla Morada and helping us launch our, our boat from their yard. And this is our, our little invention here um, for our stuff. We got our cooler and harnesses and life jackets just so we can keep the, the trampoline a little more clear. So we're just gonna try to shove it right off this, uh, this little dock here. Should be a piece of cake. Man, look how high it's floating now without all that water in it. I know. Manatee there. Okay, we got the Hobie all packed up with lots of gear, and we're going on a multi day uh, Hobie camping adventure. Um, yes, let's give it a shot. All right, we're leaving protection of the brake wall. The higher it's going to be annoying. Finally, in some nice, clear, blue screen water. I think we're going to get. It's gonna be real windy today. Uh, but the good thing is, since we're going on a big trip, we're gonna stay on the same tack. So even though we have a big pile of crap on the boat, uh, at least we won't have to climb, climb over it so much. All right, we stopped for our first break. No idea how far we've gone. We how, far we've how far have we gone? We've gone like uh, 10 miles. 10 miles. We did a little tacking though. So we're probably only like six miles away. We tied up to the mangroves and it's getting a little cold. So we just try to warm up a little bit out of the, out of the, the wind, wind and waves. Um, but also our, our little cargo net, it's, a little, it's drooping a little bit. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna readjust this so it pulls it higher out of the water. That should be no problem. We could really, we could build a much bigger cargo net. I think that would even hold even more of this stuff. We still got a lot of stuff on the trampoline. So we've been sailing all afternoon and the sun's coming down. And uh, I think we're gonna find a little spot in here to anchor or tie it to the mangroves for the night. And then we'll try to cross that bridge out there tomorrow. Been a good day for Hobie Cat on the Keys day one. So this will be campsite for night number one of the Hobie Catamaran sailing adventure. It's like this like path. I think there's even bathrooms, so that's pretty that's a bonus. When is the full moon? Right now. Maybe one more day. So our first day we didn't we didn't really make it that far. We got a kind of a late start. Um, and then we just anchored and I think there's like a state park over here. We just got off this morning. We slept a little better than the first, you slept, I slept a little better than the first uh, camping experiment on the Hobie. Uh, but still not great. <clears throat> I think we got a couple more days, we'll probably get used to it. Um, 
big pile of stuff. I found this big PVC pipe I'm using to roll the boat uh, in, the sh in the water because uh, the tide was went a little bit out uh, this morning. That really helped a lot. Coming up on our big uh, pass up here. I think it's a two mile pass. Hopefully it don't get too rough out in the pass, but I think it'll be okay. Only two miles and we're there. You want to bite of this mango? Uh, maybe, yeah. We're doing six knots downwind. sailing today. We had to beat our way upwind yesterday, so I'm glad we stopped early because now we're just covering those miles like no problem. It's got windmill and solar panel. There's for power. Yeah, it is a moat. Maybe they put sharks and alligators in the moat. Now we are short tacking our way into this harbor in Marathon. There's a bunch of tacks, I think we're almost there. Just tacked in the mooring field. And just going here until we run aground and drop an anchor, I think. So I anchored Hobie over there and it looked really shallow, but it was not. The water was up to my armpits. And I think this is low tide now. So we did a Home Depot run and I found this maybe waterproof container. It's got a gasket, so that will because we didn't bring enough dry bags for all our stuff. Um, so that should be good. And then we just saw another, it looks like a knockoff version of the Intex Explorer 200, about the same size. Uh, so we'll, we'll try that out. I do like the Orlacs a little better on this one, maybe. Can I do it now? This one has a foot pump. A uh, new dinghy purchase. Day on the water. Wait, we got it. So we had a better night sleeping. I wasn't at a slant. Yes, we slept very good. Very successful. Anchored here in the mangroves. Zoe always pioneering new ways to row. Oh yeah. So day two, we got a lot further. Ended up in Marathon. We maybe did 25 miles. We kind of tacked away into this channel and just anchored right here. Or I guess over there. We are underway again, weaving our way through these moored boats. There is a lot of them. So many boats. All right, we got the pretty good start, doing about five knots. And they're gonna go under this bridge. It looks like they cut the middle part out. And, oh, was it, it was a drawbridge, I guess. They undrawed it. Yeah, it probably wasn't, doesn't look super safe. Oh. Watch your head. Let me tighten it. Nope, we're going down one, so we keep yeah. it loose. We're just clearing the channel, and you can see the, uh, the seven mile bridge on the horizon. So we're gonna go underneath that, I think, and we'll go, we'll go sail on the inside today. Along the seven mile bridge. We're coming up on the uh, the part where we can go under it. So maybe maybe a mile so far.
Zoe dropped her hat in the water and she's, she's paddling over to go get it. We're gonna go over to this little island here. There's a beach in the back side. So. Up the rudder. Up the shallow. We gotta pull the rudders up. It's funny. It was pretty clear. Land ho! Land ho! There she is. Oh no! Floating away. So here is this beach I found. It looks like there's a lot more beaches, but the water's just so clear, um, and the tide was never really right. So it's kind of hard to find some some good beaches in this area. Uh, and then I guess tomorrow we'll we'll try to sail down to uh, down towards Knock 'em Down Key. And then uh, all, all the way over to Key West. And I want to go around Key West and visit one of these reefs that are a little bit offshore. Zoe's hat and Zoe's hat fell in the water a second time. Oh, looks like she's got it. Just a minute. to rain tonight so I've temporarily abandoned my little boat by the side of the road. So thanks for watching Hobie Cat Camping Adventure in the Keys part one and I'm gonna do the the, the second half as a part two video. Um, so we, we stopped that first or that third night and we got a hotel room just because it was going to rain. Uh, but in the next videos, we'll we'll go back to the boat and we we uh, sail for another four days, I think, just camping on it. Uh, it was a pretty fun trip. I'll see you guys then. Bye.